in this video we're going to have a quick run through of how we would do animations uh, to get a smooth pose to pose setup within Character Animator. Um, what you would normally do to record a character is literally press record and move the character around in position, um, which works great, but you don't have as much control over the final animation. The way we would normally do it is we would move a character into position, set up its pose, and then we would use the two frame take uh, control. So if you go to timeline, record two frame take, or press control two. So even press control two. Here you'll see now that we've got two frames of animation, so we'll stretch it out to as long as we want it to be. Uh, we can ease that in and out. Now we can see we get a nice animation into, into the pose. It holds it and then moves out. There is one thing to note when using this method. Um, if you look at the beginning of the animation, you can see a little jump. And this is due to the arm, so I think that's that might be something to do with the arm IK. Um, the solution to fix this is before you start your animations, set a default pose for the arms. So say we've got the arms positioned like this, press control two. Don't need the face. We just want these two arm animations, and so we'll drag them the full duration of the scene, so I think the scene set 30 seconds. So now when we play this animation, the arms are in place. Now at three seconds I want him to do a pose, so I'm gonna bring him over here, put his arms out to the side, press control two. Now this will overlay that animation, so we want to have that for about three or four seconds. Have a blend in and a blend out. Let the play. You see, you don't get the jump, and you get your nice position in and position out. Um, you also have control here now over where the hands start and stop. So we maybe want to start them a little bit later. The surprise look a little bit later as well. So first position. And goes back. Now, say if we want to around the five second mark, we want his position to change somewhere up here. I need something else, so let's do that. Let's put that one and that one. We'll lead him quite across. We can now overlay that as well. And Blend that one in a little bit. Then we'll go from position. So we want to bring it back. So we want him to blend into that and then blend back out into that other position. So there you get a nice smooth post to pose type animation with full control over where you want the character to be. So if we don't want him to go back into that position, we can just have him go into the two. So there you go. Um, we find that's a great way to animate the characters and it gives you some smooth results.